after uh, the site of uh, this we are going to go at the site of tinkercad.com and in, the, and in this website this is the workplace where uh, we are going to make our circuit diagram and all the elements will come from this we can get all the elements so first we are going to take Arduino this is the Arduino Uno 3 that we are going to use in this assignment so uh, uh, there are many analog pins uh, uh, that you can see at the lower side and on the from on the upper side you can also see the all these digital pins and the temperature we uh, sensor that we are going to use is TMP36 so let us find that sensor from this uh, bar here we get the sensor that is TMP36 from here you can read TMP36 temperature sensor ok now uh, this sensor is having three pins uh, first is VS that you can see that VS that means uh, uh, source that we are going to provide to this temperature sensor the second terminal is V output from so let us first connect the source so we are going to give the 5 voltage input to the temperature sensor so let us connect this terminal to the 5 voltage so over here we do it at 5 voltage uh, now here you can see the ground terminal so as you know that we have to connect ground terminal of the sensor to the ground terminal of Arduino so let us connect these two ok uh, now we want to read the uh, temperature that is sensed by this temperature sensor so uh, this, uh, this terminal that is known as V output we are going to connect to the analog pin I am uh, going to explain you why we connect to this analog pin and not to the digital pin so here we are going to connect it to analog pin A1 here we complete our circuit now let us go on the part of coding so here from here we can write the code so here we go to uh, code tab so to write the code so I have already written this code before so let me explain you this uh, full code first of all see these are the command lines means uh, Arduino this uh, compiler who won't execute these lines because these are commented you can see the symbol this is the comment symbol okay so what i have written the tmp36 is specified from minus 40 degrees celsius to plus 125 degrees celsius means uh, the temperature sensor would sense the temperature range from minus 40 degrees celsius to 125 degrees celsius and provides a 750 millivolt output at 25 degrees celsius the, the meaning of this according to the output voltage uh, it would be given the temp it will sense the temperature and according to that the output voltage would be given and those voltage would be read at terminal A1 ok and uh, there are, we can use TMP35 or 36 both have, have the same output scale of 10 millivolt ok uh, so first of all let me explain you that uh, we are taking float we are taking three variables uh, named temp value uh, then temperature value in C means at in degree Celsius and this is a temperature value in millivolt now you will be questioning that why I have used float so we have used float because uh, we can get temperature in uh, decimal points hence we have used float otherwise if you don't want temperature in uh, decimal points or if you want in just integer then you can uh, write integer so uh, now one more thing in while writing any Arduino code uh, these two functions are compulsory void setup and void loop these functions has to be there in your code now you can add more functions to your code also so in void setup the difference between these two functions is in void setup the, uh, this compiler would execute only once while in uh, void loop this function compiler will execute in uh, multiple times so uh, first of all see we have used this serial uh, uh, sorry uh, this uh, analog pin to read the temperature sensor so first of all we will initialize this pin to the uh, in void setup uh, this function so here I write a1 pin mode a1 and uh, we are not going to get any output we are just sensing and fetching the data that is sensed by the temperature hence we write input over here 
now the function of serial begin see at last you can see serial mo monitor so if you want to uh, 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 see the data written in this serial monitor you have to write this serial dot begin 9600 if you don't write this the serial monitor won't be initialized and no data would be displayed in, in this now uh, we go into the second function that is void loop this is our second function here uh, first variable we take the temperature value temp value uh, what is the value of that that we write analog read a1 see and uh, now uh, the analog read a1 now this would read the uh, read the value sensed by the temperature at uh, either function of analog read analog read is a, uh, a command that reads the our uh, data at analog pin so the data uh, that we have fetched in this is stored in temp value now temp millivolt now whatever the data is sent it is in the terms of voltage that is uh, from range from 0 to 1024 but now we have to convert it from um, 18 millivolts so we uh, we do the following things that uh, the temperature value we multiply it by 5000 and divide this value by 1024 so we could get uh, values from ranging from 1 millivolt to 5 millivolt so according to that we can function more easily now see we have got the value in millivolt now we want the value in degree celsius so here we got the uh, the this is the uh, in the millivolt you have got already the formula now we divide it by 10 Okay, and then we plus add minus fifty to it so that we can get the value in degree Celsius. Okay, and this is how the, we get the uh, uh, value in degree Celsius of temperature. Now, last we have written the serial dot print ln temp value C. What is uh, this would do? This would print the value of uh, temperature in uh, degree Celsius in the serial monitor. Uh, this is the serial. This is the function because we have used because we are going to use serial monitor and print ln uh, because uh, ln uh, means new line. You will get the uh, output in the new line and uh, we'll uh, print. We are going to use because it is going to print the value. So here we start the simulation of this uh, SMN or project. So here we go. See now we are going to see the serial monitor. See, it is continuously reading 24.71, 24.71. That is the current temperature. So you, uh, you, are, you can see the temp, temp 25 degrees Celsius. Uh, as you have taken the float, it is uh, giving, giving precisely the 24.71. But here it is 25 degrees Celsius because it is in the integer variable, and we want it uh, perfectly. That's why. Now uh, we change, we are going to change the slider. Here we are going till minus 40. See, we are getting the minus. 40.23. Again, we go on the other side. It is 125. See, we are going going to get 124.80 for precisely the temperature. Again, we go to the temperature range of 33, 34. See, you can see the output. Okay, here we call. Uh, we are going to stop the simulation.